91 was a year of uh, cooperation. And 93, 92 is going to be the year of cooperating with what you created. And then it's going to be the year of expression. And that expression will be positive. It'll be mental, emotional, physical. Positive or negative. So if you start to resisting the expression of next year coming up, you're going to be in a real funnel disagreement with cosmic order and flow. And then look for bad things to happen to you because then it will be expressed against you. And there's no need to do that. The best thing is to willingly see yourself participating to a completion on things rather than just completing and leaving them left out there strangling because what looks to be positive then starts to deplete your energy. Then you get so looking forward to 93, but 93 won't be very good for you unless you've done 91 and 92 and 90 with the correct approach to it. And the reason I'm telling you this is to like give you an edge on it information-wise of how this is going to flow so that you can be part of your existence to a much, much greater... See, if we could do 100%, there'd be no problems because 100 is there. It's like, that's it. That's, that's the perfection quality. And the process of growing up and maturing yourself is something that goes on continuously. Rejoice and accept it excitingly. Like, here's a chance to really make amends or to do it differently or to grow or to advance or to fix something. And this, this next year, it's like gird up your loins for 12 months and really take off on it. Those diets, do them. Those exercises, do them. Those books, do them. The movie, do it. The apologies, do them. If you have to carry somebody, carry them. If you've got to forgive them and love them, do it. If you've got to walk an extra mile, walk it. And just know that it's going to be a great, wonderful time for you as you move on. New, exciting things, explore it. But in all of this, don't be a fool about it. Now, I can't tell you how not to be a fool because the situations will be so varied. But you now should know that if you put your hand on the stove, it gets burnt, don't do it. If you still haven't learned that, then get bandages and uh, pain medicine to put on your hand because you're going to burn yourself. At least try to take care of it on that level. Uh, and if we can just accept that and just start loving anyway, we're going to have a magnificent, wonderful group of people out walking on the planet doing wonderful, magnificent things. And when you fight, enjoy your fights. Like with your spouses or lovers or live-ins. Enjoy it. And when you kiss, kiss them so that their toenails tingle. <laughs> in other words, participate in it. And if you're going to tease, tease so well, the person just stands there and enjoys it. Now, this, that's a hard challenge because right now you don't know how to do it. The situations haven't appeared. As they appear... Stand up in the fullness of who you are as much as you can get at that moment and do the best you can. And if you can do better later on, correct it. And if you can't, just know at that moment, that's where it was with you. No apologies necessary, no depressions, no anxieties. You know, I was watching a, a movie. And again, go see The Black Robe. It's just really great. This Indian was talking about a dream. And this is my tie-up for you. And he said, this dream that I have will look like that. And he didn't know it, but this is the dream of death. Now, when you see the movie, it's not going to quite be like how I'm doing it, because the guy got paid for it. <laughs> and he, was, he got killed, and he was over here at this point, and he was dying. He'd come on to his dream, and he said, if I had known that that was my death dream, over here, I would have been a wonderful warrior. I would have been courageous. I would have been adventurous. I would have done great things for my people. And he just was listing them off. But you know why he didn't? Because he didn't know that he wasn't going to die till he got to this point. And so he cheated himself on all of these. He wouldn't do them. Now at the time of death, he looks back with regret. Because he was afraid if he did any of these, he would die. Well, let me tell you. If you're going to do any of these and you die, it is your dream. And if you don't, you're going to be so much further being thankful that you had the wit to keep stepping and stepping and stepping and stepping.
And if you don't know where that is, just know that that is not your death dream. And if it happens to be your death dream, it's going to be there anyway. So it's like fearlessly go forward, but know that it's a grace form. That you're going to be under grace walking through it. Yeah, and you know, there's going to be people that are going to be contrary to it. Fine. They're just going to make you do it a better, more efficient, more effective way. That's all they're going to do for you. They're going to point up the errors, the mistakes, the faults. Fine. Great. You've just got all these people helping you get ahead in life. When you get off to you, invite them to dinner. Say, because of all your negativity and contrariness, I did better. I want to have dinner with you. <laughs> They'll probably go, oh, I didn't want to do that with them. But you understand the idea, if they don't want to have dinner, oh, that's fine too. Just make it fine. And you may want to express with them, and you may not. Be respicient.